on the topic of national income accounting, we have so far seen GDP and GNP. Before we begin with the concept of NDP and NNP, we need to understand the concept and the term depreciation. So let's have a look at this. Depreciation. It is an accounting term used to determine the present cost of an asset. And it is used to determine the present cost of an asset over a period of its use. When we say cost of an asset, it refers to plant, machinery, cars and tools. And when we say a period of its use, it means lifespan. For businesses, it is used to balance the expenses incurred to maintain an asset and the income generated with the help of this asset. To understand this, let's take an example. Let's take an example of business of tours and transport. Imagine they have many vehicles through which they earn income. Now consider this, if they have 3 cars of 5 lakhs each, then total value of assets would be 15 lakhs. If every car requires a maintenance of 50,000 each in a year, then total expenses would be 50,000 for each car into 3. This maintenance was required due to wear and tear of its parts like brake liners, headlights, tires, fuel pump, clutches, etc. Now it might also require a paint job due to scratches or erosion of paint. Thus the value of car got reduced or depreciated by 50,000 at the end of the year. Now due to this wear and tear and this was an example of depreciation. This was an example of depreciation specifically by matching principle. That is to calculate the revenue or sales after deduction of expenses incurred to earn this revenue. What we do in this basically is we minus the expenses that were incurred to earn this revenue or sales. So this gives us a better view of the present value of our asset. But in reality, the depreciation rate is fixed in accounting standards for every type of assets based on its general expected life or expected years of use. Thus, the depreciated value is used for next year's accounting calculation. This is called depreciation by accelerated method in accounting or a straight line method. Now similarly, depreciation rate is applicable for other type of assets which are purchased for businesses over a period of time. Let's look at them. These are the different type of assets on the left. And on the right are their effective depreciation rate for your reference. These rates differ from country to country and are subject to changes as per government rules and accounting standards. It is important to note here that all other assets depreciate in value over time except the land as its use is considered indefinite. Let's understand this with an example. So imagine there is a piece of land and there was a small fishing village on it. It was surrounded by green trees and greenery all around. But then these trees were cut for farming. Over a period of time, due to the need of electricity, coal-based thermal power plants were set up. On the same piece of land, new houses now again can be built. So thus a single piece of land can have multiple uses and can be used for multiple years unlike other assets. Thus it can be concluded that although other assets depreciate in value over time, the land as an asset and its use is considered indefinite.